Winnipeg with the Jets version 2.0, and this fan base is as rabid as ever. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Jets start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Quick feed to Connor. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Couture. He's got a step. Big time save. He was dialed in there. Well, he has the benefit of seeing it coming here, James, so he gets himself set to position he anticipate. I think he has a book on the shooter to be truthful, and he makes a save. And there's the save. Fires it. Oh, oh stops the game. What a great job of trapping the puck up. One but two consecutive saves. Needed face off will give them a breather. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Perfetti's won it off the face off. And he loses control here. Sends it quickly to Graylin. Turns it away on the slot shot. There's another stop. Scores off the skate and into the net. No. James, this is going to be waved off. They'll have to have another look at this to see if there was a distinct kicking motion. Call on the ice is no goal. Let's see what the video review concludes. San Jose's got the game's first goal here in the first, and perfect road approach, right? Silence the crowd, Cheryl. Well, yeah, and you got to start with some energy, and you got to get your lines into the game right away, and that's exactly what they did. They were like a wave of momentum, and they capitalized on their opportunity. And that pass is redirected. Slides the puck ahead to Perfetti. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And he had the answer on that one. Keeps a hold of it on the play. And he caught it when he wasn't looking. What a hit. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. On the of the iron. The Jets trying to shrink their deficit, but it won't get done there as they wire it off the pipe. Winnipeg's got possession here in the neutral zone. Pucked away from danger. Winberg's lugging the puck. Quick pass over to Granlin. The Sharks have it behind the net. And he comes up speed with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Slides the puck across to Dragallo. Poked away at center by Goodrow. The Sharks are on the attack. Puck grabbed by Stern. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Gains the zone through center. Fires it. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Can't get it to go. Oh, what a stick save. Ball out. The Sharks get a little bit of bad luck right here as the puck goes off the post and out. The good part is they still have the lead. Solid hit on the play. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Sends the pass over. Winnipeg's got it against the board. Hooked away by Ayapalo. Handles the puck at the point. Takes a blast. Makes the save on the slapper. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Rocks him along the wall. Passes it to Gustafson. The Jets play it along the boards. Got a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you gotta figure he knows he's running away. Oh, eyes on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. The Sharks get a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Here we go. Odd man rush here. Oh, wow, what an incredible save. Oh, this looks dangerous. Shot. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Slides it over with pace to Delandria. And there it goes as the puck goes free. And that goes off the body. Hellebuck's last 
last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Past the midway mark of the frame, San Jose's ahead, 1-0. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Proof it up with the stick in the defensive end. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Along the half wall with the puck. Shifley's on the attack of the offensive zone. Lays the body into that play. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Winnipeg's got it from behind the net. There's a solid collision. Sends it in front. Another pass. And that goes off a stick. Gets a glove on it. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. right now and he's got this point streak going and when that's happening for you you're having a ton of fun putting up the points can they capitalize on this power play here comes the face off Shifley's won the face off here in the offensive zone refs arms in the air we got a penalty coming up big time stop there oh as a star moves up paid at last got grabbed after that heavy heavy shot uh, it's all about safety first here James and they're gonna sure that they replace that pin. You know, if it's fired, if it's cracked in it, another shot comes or a big hit, that'll send it through to the fans. Shuts him down. Moves it to Connor. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. And there's the save. Knocked away by Ehlers. He's got a step. Oh, absolutely crushed at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game. And this is a one-on-one -on -one battle. He knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Another big face-off blowing as this power play rolls on here tonight. They take possession as he locks him up off the face-off. The Sharks take it across the line. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Winnipeg's got the puck. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Granlin. 
great burst of speed to come up with it. And he slides it quickly to Vlasic. Fires it on this. Denies him. He got all of it. And now it's grabbed by Morrissey. And he sidesteps the kick there. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there! Wow, uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Then he get nailed. Chopped that up as a win for the penalty killing unit as the penalty expires. Both teams down back to even strength. That's a great job by this PK unit, James, creating some momentum for their team and getting out of it without getting scored on. And this is critical, given that it's a tie game. And he takes the pass. The Jets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And now he passes it to Nemestikov. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Welcome back, everybody. Cheryl is full of popcorn now as we get set for period number two. You can tell we're in for a good one because almost every fan is in their seats here as we are still tied with the second getting underway. Let's seize the pass. Gets it over to Toffoli. Avoids the defender. Tremendous stop by Hillebuck. Well, he makes an incredible save. On Scores! A... There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the Selly. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Oh, man, that's a tough one for the goaltender. He's still looking for it. He's bobbing, ebbing, and flowing because there are so many layers in front of him. He doesn't even get a look at this. San Jose's push here in the second is paying off as they now lead by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push. Keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. Puck picked up by Morrissey. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose the defender there. Here's a chance. Shot. The easy glove save by Hellebuck. Directed over to Morrissey. Quick pass to Connor. Solid body contact. Here we go. They're dropping the gloves. You knew this was going to come after they hit their star player. Well, if you're going to touch the star players, you're going to have to answer the call. They certainly don't want their top players in a fight. So here they come, the enforcer. And drops the hammer on that one. Yeah, the clear winner as that final punch perfectly executed and a tough one on the other end. The Sharks showing some physicality and some toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The mitts go flying there, and that fight is going to silence the crowd. They're the clear victor in that one. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. Sends the pass in front. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. The Jets have it in the offensive end. Taken by Granlin. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Traffic. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Dishes it off. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Pinned up along the boards. Toss up the puck after that hit. Here's a rip. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. He got all of that one. Pokes the puck away. Break away. To the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Puck scooped up by Ayafalo. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Here's a blast. Standing tall with the save. Toffoli's got it in the defensive end. Handles the pass. Big save in front. 
Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. He was locked in there, and he maintains possession of the puck here. Oh, what a on the wall! And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Rocks him on the play. The Jets will take it behind the net. Turned aside by Vanacek. Winnipeg's on the attack. Off the bar will play on. It was that close. Connor's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We've just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves, and he loses the puck. Throws it in. San Jose has gained possession along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sturm. Knocked away. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Sandberg stick handling in his own zone. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Center and feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And he sends it across to Thrun. Unable to reach that one. Picked up along the boards by Goodrow. Nice dish from the left wing. And the puck leaves the zone. And now he moves it quickly to a chance and he runs here. Oh, what a stop shutting down that rush. What? Wow. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Works it across to Smith. Good stop by Hellebuck. And he takes the feed. The Sharks gained possession along the wall. Vlasic's gained the line and on the attack. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Slides it quickly to Ehlers. And he lowers the boom there. Quick feed to Gushin. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Big time stop! This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square with the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. And that's knocked away by Shifley. And sends it just out of reach. Long jam in front. That's broken up. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Past the halfway mark of this period. San Jose's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Oh, he caught him! Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the board. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing the jack. Takes it from the right side. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Morrissey. There's a great club save by Benedict. Morrissey's back on the ice after serving that five-minute major for fighting, and it's certainly appreciated to have a physical element to your game. You know his teammates certainly appreciate it, but, man, you got to find a way to generate offense, and the only way you can is when you're on the ice. San Jose's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Gustafson's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Ferraro's not going to be able to get away from the views and the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. He scores! Logan Couture delivers! Having another look at it on the replay, we can see that he got a piece of it, but just not enough, and it squeaks through to the net. 
San Jose has been dominating the pace of play all night, and Cheryl, they've now extended this lead to two. It's been a dominant performance, James, right from the puck drop, and now they'll be heading into the intermission. They'll want to make sure that they reset. You know their coaching staff is going to be telling them, listen, right from the third period on, we got to find a way to finish, execute, and continue what we started. And it's a quick pass to Winberg. Puck grab by Preston. The Jets have it now. Here they come. Mercy to Barrett. Here's a chance. Denies him on the spot. There's the collision. Long breakout pass to center. And he takes the dip. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Ehlers carries the puck in his own zone. Solid check to slow him down. Side steps to check. Winnipeg's got control of the puck. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. Slides it back to the blue line. And Andrew Black gets blocked by one of his own teammates. Great use of the stick at center by Goodrow. Rocks him. And now it's grabbed by Goodrow. Hot moved over to Sturm. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Puts it in deep. San Jose's got the puck. They start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. This is so free. James right for puck drop. He's been under siege and he's been so dialed in and giving his team an opportunity to get the W. We've played not one but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs because a big third period is just around the corner. Welcome back, James Sabalski, ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Here we go, period number three is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Winnipeg will be a little frustrated here, James, and I understand why this have a ton of great A scoring chances. You're playing really well, you're opening up lanes, you just can't find the back of the net. This is when you have to trust your habits, stick with the game plan, and you'll find a way to put it by. Ferraro's moving the puck through his own zone. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Pionk. A little banging and crashing now. And he slides it quickly to Nemestikov. Winnipeg's got it in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Ferraro. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. The Jets can play from the defensive zone. Through center. Rocked on the play. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Taken by Lundberg. The pass in front. Can't connect the play. Levels him with the hit. The Sharks get a hold of it. With possession along the wall. Takes the shot. And he catches that one with the claw. Halifax has been under siege all game long. I mean, his defense is doing nothing to protect him, but one save after another. They're lucky that they're still in this game. They've got to get four north and look to put some numbers up on the other side of the board. Now a quick pass to Niederreiter. Here's the puck. Oh, those points rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, he knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, Bell. Here's a shot! Oh, tried to put it in the corner, it just missed! Scores! And that's three unanswered goals, and as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas! <laughs> they're cooking with gas, and you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they've worn their opponent down. Now they got to keep the pedal to the metal.
The Sharks are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right time. It has been a seamless effort. And a great yeah. save! Moves it ahead from off the wall. Puck picked up by Miller. And he coughs it up with the pass. Denies that opportunity. Back to the point it goes. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Sent into the offensive zone. He stretches one out to Crum. All alone! He gets that one to go. Oh, that's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return. A missed opportunity. Textbook poke check by Thrun. Oh, look at this. Quick shot. Huge save on the play. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Absolutely incredible that he can extend himself like that, James, and be able to get onto that puck. Incredible save. San Jose's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. San Jose's got possession of the puck. And that's intercepted by Perfetti. Uses the force on that hit. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Gets in front of it. Holds it to the crease. Makes the save again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. The Sharks have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Pass back to the point. Oh, you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Oh, right hit to the opposition bench and get up close and personal with some people. I don't think he really wants to. Not a chance. I mean, he's over the board. Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. Winnipeg's looking to break out. Let's see what the officials are calling. Couture is going off for charging. The Jets send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, and it is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. The Jets take possession off the faceoff. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Big opportunity here for them. They'll have plenty of time to work this five on three. For the long five on three, yes, you have more time, and you know that you've worked on this in practice. Coach wants you to be patient with the puck, but they want you to find an opportunity to drive and attack. You have to move it, or you have to fire it. Puck scooped up by Domestikov. What a hit on the play! Oh, my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. Looking to break out here on the power play. Winnipeg's got it now. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Great save from in tight. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. The top power play unit showing a little bit of frustration there as they weren't able to execute no luck around the net, but the second unit will come out with time on the clock. They'll want to make sure that they get pucks to the net and get traffic in the eyes of the tender. Quick pass to CeCe. No great move to sidestep the check. Here's a shot, and not much on that one. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Pittsburgh's up next, and no love lost between these two sides. A few tickets still available, I'm told, so you better get them before they're gone. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. A shot! Moves it over to Alcala. Look at this. Let's go. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, my goodness. What a save. And he takes the feed. Feeds it over. Takes the shot. Get it off the post. He'll keep it alive.
The Sharks gain control of it. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Oh, he gets hit again. Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get lambasted over and over again. And that's stopped. Gains the zone from the right side. And he slides it across. The Jets have it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. And now he moves it quickly to Grenstrom. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Ehlers. Takes the feed. Fires it! Big time save by Benetech! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. The Jets weren't ready to go right from puck drop, and because of that, they got behind the eighth ball, and they weren't able to claw themselves back into it. It's a lackluster performance, and they deserve what they've gotten. And he dodges the poke check there. San Jose, he's got to hold him in against the wall. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Quick feed to Smith. Sends it in front. And that goes off a stick and off target. Puts it on goal. Denied by the goaltender. Loses the coverage there. Looks by the check. Comes up with a stop. Takes a shot. Oh, you'll lose respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. Fires one on goal. tonight a lot of scoring chances and they lead it late in this third period play reserves as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone and the traffic jam in front blocks the shot oh they telegraph the pass and he picks it off oh he just got thunderstruck well he did i mean closing so quickly no time and space there and just crushes him what a hit Scooped up along the wall by Winberg. Has some smart heads up defensive play by Pion. Knowing how to protect the lead is critical, James, and you want to understand that you can create, you can still press offense, but you can't get cute with the puck. You still have to distribute it and find the right openings. It is all over. This really had a sort of chess on ice feel to it tonight. It was so back and forth and evenly matched. But close games are ones that you have to find a way to close out. And every play matters, James. And it's integral that you find a way to stay present in the moment, trust the process, and really buy in every shift.